So today we're looking at the Mugen 5 Revision B from Scythe, and this is a great cooler that costs about $48 right now on Amazon. Let's go ahead and go over some of my thoughts on the cooler and answer the question of whether this is your next CPU cooler or whether something else would be better suited for you. So right off the bat, I'll go ahead and throw up a little bit of B-roll of installation, but this cooler does feature compatibility with pretty much any modern socket that you would want, whether it be the older FM2, AM3, it does feature AM4 support, so if you have a Ryzen-based system, you're good to go. LGA 2066, as well as all your other LGA 1150, whatever you happen to have, it's gonna support all of those different sockets. So if you have a somewhat modern PC, this cooler's got you covered. Aesthetically, we have a lot of nickel plating going on here, both a cold plate that actually touches the IHS on your CPU that is nickel plated as well as the copper heat pipes are nickel plated to give you a very uniform look with the heat sink. Obviously we have a black fan with rubber sort of noise dampening uh, material on the corners so it keeps noise down and that's gonna be a theme of this cooler but we also have these aluminum caps on your heat pipes and that's just to hide the crimping on those heat pipes and give you a more polished and finished look. Now one of the other very quality of life features that I do love about this cooler is that the heatsink itself is offset from center of the CPU socket. It's actually shifted back towards the IO of the motherboard and that's so that the fan can mount to the heatsink without coming into contact with any of those RAM modules you may have all four RAM slots are fully available and will not touch the fan even with it installed in front of the heatsink like this. And on the back side of the heatsink, we actually have a cutout of some of the fins so that if you have a motherboard that features eight DIMM slots, four on one side of the socket, four on the other side, you're covered there. My Trident Z RAM modules would not come into contact with this heatsink because of that cutout. So really nice job there by Scythe thinking ahead on a whole lot of different compatibility issues that you could run into with tall heat sinks on your RAM modules, that will not be an issue with this cooler. Now in some of that B-roll where I'm installing this cooler, you'll notice there are actually cutouts on top of the heat sink they go clear through the heatsink down to the Phillips head screws for mounting this cooler. And with that, Scythe included a really nice screwdriver. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. You could build a PC with this thing. It has a nice handle on it and it has a magnetic tip on it. So I'm actually gonna just hang on to this screwdriver and uh, probably do a lot of my future PC building with it because it is just of high quality and I don't have a good screwdriver like this that has a magnetic tip up till now. So really nice inclusion there of not only giving you a good looking cooler, but giving you the tools to mount the thing without any hassle at all. It's actually one of the easier coolers I've ever mounted. Now here in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sound clip of this cooler under full load, but you may or may not get much out of that. All I can tell you is this about sound because I don't have the tools necessary to actually measure uh, decibel levels. It's a really quiet cooler, even under full load. Uh, you may have to turn up volume to actually hear the cooler at all in this video clip because I'm not gonna boost it at all in post-production or anything like that. This is just the raw audio from about a foot away with my camera. So let's take a listen. Now, part of the reason for that sort of quiet cooler that we have here is this fan, which runs at a lower RPM than a lot of other CPU coolers uh, come with. Uh, and, and that's really the theme of this cooler. It is for silence. It's not so much for extreme performance and a great overclock, which you will be able to get a solid overclock with this cooler. But Scythe is not trying to make the overclocking champion heatsink here. If you want that, you're gonna wanna go with an AIO or you're gonna wanna go with a beefier heat sink, uh, maybe something from Noctua that has a dual tower design. This is really geared more towards silence though than it is performance, though it does have pretty solid performance as we'll see in just a minute. Now for testing, I put the Ryzen 2600, which is just what I had on my bench here, at 1.3 volts and ran it for a half an hour on the Ida 64 stress test at 4.0 gigahertz. And the Mugen B was compared to a uh, Freezer 33 Esports 1 from Arctic, though I did use this fan on both of the coolers, and that's mostly because I broke the Arctic fan that came with that cooler when I dropped it a good while back. Oops. Though I will say that the fan that came with the Arctic cooler was also fairly quiet. I don't think it was as quiet as this one, 
but it was fairly quiet and performance would be somewhat similar actually probably pretty much identical even if I had the original fan and put it on there now with all of these great things out of the way I do want to bring up the one sort of letdown of the Mugen 5 revision B and that is its actual performance and that's that it's really not any better than the freezer 33 esports one which is on amazon about 15 dollars cheaper than the mugen 5 and at that point this becomes a very difficult recommendation if you're looking for an easy cooler to install that is uh good looking super easy to install super quiet then this still may be the cooler for you. But if you're looking to save as much money on the CPU cooler as possible while maintaining really good temperatures, I would actually recommend that you go elsewhere because you're gonna be spending extra money on this thing for silence where there are other coolers that are almost as quiet such as the Freezer 33 Esports One that will do the job just as well from a temperature standpoint. But of course, those are just my thoughts on the Mugen 5 Revision B. I would love to hear your thoughts, especially if you already own this cooler in those comments down below. And of course, if you like the video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are very helpful. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And of course, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.